Hi everyone, my name is William from SkySiv and today in this video I'll be showing you how to add multiple shapes to create your section. So I'm going to start by adding a T-beam. Now normally when you go through the templates you'll notice that every time you go through it deletes the previous um, shape that was on the board. So instead of doing that, whenever I had, when I had the T-beam I'm going to uncheck this box which tells us to clear all others. Now doing that allows us to add more than one shape onto the design area. So with this rectangle I'm going to make it the same width as my T-beam. So I'll be changing its width and I'll be changing its height to be something more realistic like 30 mil. Now I want to be able to stack this rectangle on top of this T-beam. So to do that I specify an operation on the rectangle by performing a translation in the y-axis of the same height. So you'll notice that I'm now stacked on top of the T-beam. So I'm just going to perform a calculation on this. Now you'll notice that sometimes you get an alert which indicates if you are just touching the edge of another shape or if you are actually overlapping another shape. So because I checked the geometry, I know I'm just touching the edge of the other shape, so this is not going to be a problem for me. So I'm going to solve anyway. Now this calculation now performs based on this shape made up of multiple shapes. So if you accidentally made this to be, say, partially intersecting, as so, you'll still get the same alert, however we still allow you to perform the solve, however please be aware that you still have two positive geometries, you are not merging the shapes at the moment, you are still having two positive shapes overlapping each other, so the areas will not be reduced even though they're partially overlapped. Now a quick summary for how to manipulate these, if you click between the different shapes, you will notice the name changes on the right and you can perform different changes to dimensions and operations based on the shape you are currently selected. Now, aside from that, we have a cycle through box on the left here which allows you to click and easily cycle through um, the different shapes that you have on the board. Now, we also have different ways to delete shapes we can delete shapes by clicking this trash can button here so this will delete my T-beam and in, in addition to that I can also click the delete key on my keyboard which will delete the shape off the board. I hope that's been informative for you for this quick and easy video about adding multiple shapes. Um, we'll be moving on to composite shapes in the next video so stay tuned. Bye for now.